Hey, mamas, and welcome back to another episode of the Modern Moms Club podcast. I'm here with Diego Turan. He's the general manager at College Sitters. Now, it's getting to be the holiday season. Actually, we're in the holiday season, and we all know what it's like to have to shop with our little kids. You know, that can be super stressful. So what we are talking about today is having the ability to really book a sitter, a nanny, or a tutor kind of at your fingertips. It's an app for, for uh, mothers, for parents um, to have easy access to booking sitters. So the company College Sitters is making life easier for moms. College Sitters is a local service that guarantees you'll have a screened, trained, and insured sitter whenever you need. So Diego, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Sandy, for the, for the invitation and the opportunity to share our company with all your audience. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is something I think for moms, it's so important because, you know, obviously when, when we're with our kids, you know, our eyes are on them, we're watching them. But when we're not with them, we're like, what's going on? You know, right. who's watching my child? Is this person safe? Are they, you know, if it's, of course, if it's not a family, you know, you just you're very hesitant to, to leave your child in someone else's care when you're not there. So this is why I want to dive in today about what your company is, how you can kind of relieve that worry for some moms and, and everything that you guys offer. So I would love for you to talk to us about what is College Sitters. Right. So we are a national franchise. We are actually in over 30 states. Wow. Operating. Um, the franchise, it's owned by a corporation called Bright Horizons. Um, Bright Horizons, it's kind of the largest corporate backup care provider in the, in the U.S. So they run their own childcare centers, uh, corporate childcare centers, and, and they also have this uh, benefit for employers where they provide uh, childcare that it's uh, employer-sponsored. Oh, so wow. since we are part of them, we have to follow all uh, corporate standards for Bright Horizons. Mm -hmm. So for example, this is, this is where our service begins to differentiate from what is currently in, in the market. So all of the sitters, nannies and sitters, sure. they, they are our employees. So they have to go through our uh, enrollment process, personal interviews, uh, obviously reference checked, and then they have to go through the back, Bright Horizons approved uh, national background check screening, right. which is important because uh, there are a lot of background checks offers and they are usually only covering driver's license or, or a statewide. So our, it's, it's a national uh, background check. And, and as I said, it's uh, approved by Bright Horizons. And then they get trained. Um, because we are offering the same level of service or, or the same standard of service across all of our offices. Uh, right. So we ensure the same experience for, for everyone. So every, every, as I said, every, every nanny, it's, it's our employee, has been gone through all this process. So that uh, allows our clients to have this safe uh, environment when you when you have our service now w one thing that that families usually don't take into consideration is the opposite side because all of my employees have been nannies for a while um, there are several platforms online that connect families with nannies sure. but they they've been through a lot they, there's a lot of scams out there yeah. it's, uh, uh, it's not safe it's not reliable so when they when they uh meet our our company they feel safe because all of our clients have also been screened right so when you want to be uh, a college uh, nannies um, client you have to go through an enrollment process you have to sign a contract uh, we will match your family needs with the specific profiles of nannies oh well that's great um, so the sitters that that will work with you are are completely matched for example if you have a baby I'm not gonna put you a sitter that doesn't have infant experience you sure, see what I mean? sure. so everything is role matched to your family needs right that, that also gives the the sitters a level of security because they I always know where my employees are working at yeah. what time in what place so so they are safe most of our employees are college students so it's girls from 19 to 25 year old sure. and, and it's important for them to to feel safe Definitely. now 
you don't have to be in college to be a college sitter. That's okay. the, the, the other, <laughs> that's the other thing. Uh, it, it's, it's just the, the, the concept. That's how the franchise was born in, in, in Minnesota 11 years ago. But I have a uh, different type of profiles of, of people working with me, particularly if, if we're working with infants, like you are mm. a, a mom, you have a, a beautiful baby. I don't know if you feel more comfortable leaving your kid with uh, an older woman or, or, a, or a recently sure, graduated sure. girl. You're, you're right. going to prefer to have someone that has more experience and is more mature. Right. So we do have all these profiles of, of nannies and that's why we are able to match uh, each family needs with, with the perfect profile for you. Wow, that's amazing. Now, you, you also mentioned the app. Um, we have a private app. It's called My Sitters app. And okay. it's, really, it's really a tool. Like, it, it, and this is important because we are not an app. We are not a company that, that is an app. The app is really a tool for our clients to help them uh, book sitters in real time. Nice. But it doesn't mean, but if you don't want to use the app, you call our office and we will help sure. you. Sure. So, so is it like Uber for babysitting? A kind of. Okay. But uh, uh, just, just with the caveat that no one can access the app unless it's our employee or it's our client. Okay. Like if, if you download the app in your phone, uh, you cannot access. You cannot see who are the sitters. You cannot book anyone unless okay. you, you go through our enrollment process. Yeah, and I want to I want to talk about that. Like, what what does that enrollment process look like, and and how does it? Um, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, it's it, it's fairly simple. You have to we we have a, a conversation. I explain the services. Uh, um, and then you have to just sign a, an agreement contract. Mm -hmm. Then you have to give me uh, general family information about your kids, if you have pets, the ages of your kids, what are their hobbies, what they like. Um, and then obviously your credit card information. And once that's complete, I'm able to create the profile in our system and give you your login information. Awesome. And then at that point, that's when you start to filter through the sitters or the nannies that are going to be the appropriate match for that family. Correct. Okay. And then once you have access to the app, then things get easier because you open the app. There is a, it's very simple. You have a calendar, you have a, a list of available sitters on, on each day and you book the sitter with two clicks. Wow. Um, the app allows you to book a sitter with three hours in advance. Okay. That was my next question is, is how soon, like, I mean, yeah. What about, are there any like emergency lines, like say something pops up and the mom has to get somewhere within an hour? Like, is that an option? Yes. I mean, wow. okay. not, through, not through the app, but you can call. call. You can call. Okay. And then it's, it's, it's all up to the, the availability. Like we, sure. we ask three hours because it's, we need to move people. Planning. So we, are, we are in the business of, of, of moving people from one place to another. Sure. So, but I, I get I get cases, for example, when I receive an email or a text at twelve uh, or twelve p.m. No, twelve a.m. Yeah, because the the baby is sick, and and mm. next day you can't he can't go to school, and you have to go to work. Right. So I I either receive a call later at night or really early in the morning. And sure. Like, I need someone here at nine a.m. So. And, and we are able to help in those cases. That for me is yeah. the most extreme is when the baby is sick and you need someone mm -hmm. at, at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m. the next day. Right. Um, in the afternoons, is much easier because I usually have a, a sitter available in the afternoon. Yeah. Um, we also, so that's the on-call service, but we, we are more than that. Um, most yeah, yeah, I would love, I would love to also, um, before, before we kind of go into yeah. the other, what else yeah. you offer, I want to, I want to know, like, are the nannies or the sitters that are working with these families, do they have specific programs or activities that they do with the kids? I mean, right. you know, the worst thing that you want is like a nanny that's just sitting there watch, having your kid watch TV, right? So, 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 uh, so for, first of all, to, to, to reality, the reality checks, if, if you want to call it like that, 99% uh, of our clients, they have cameras. Yeah. And, and we know that. Yeah. So there are rules. And that's when, when I told you about our, our standard level of service, mm -hmm. that the experience of hiring a college sitter has to be different. So yeah. we have our, 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 our process. 
So first of all, you have age appropriate activities. It's not the same having a three year old with a seven year old. Exactly. Um, there is the, the sitters are not allowed, for example, to to be on their phones mm-hmm. unless the parent requests them to send them pictures, right, or updates. Um, they has to be engaging, and and we usually follow the rules of the house. So we can It's not a cookie cutter process because each family is different. So there are families that it's okay for them to have screen time. Families that don't let the kids have a screen sure. time. Uh, families that have a garden, families that live on an apartment. Yeah. Um, so it, it's really uh, up to the specific need. But what we also, what, what we always push for is the engagement between the sitter and, and the kid. Yeah. And, and it depends if, it also depends on the time. It's not the same having a sitter for a date night when she starts at 9 p.m. Sure, and the kid probably sleeping. sleeping. Yeah, or Or, or our, our most common service, which is the after-school nanny that picks up the kid from school, takes them home, yeah. do the homework, uh, exactly. a little snack, and let and have them ready for when the parents arrive. Right, right. So it it is really uh, up to each uh, specific uh, family. family. Okay, that makes sense. And now for the sitters, how are they finding you? And like, where are they coming from? You know, obviously you're saying it's not just sitters. So I mean, we went through the kind of the screening process, but how do they know to come to you? Where can they find you? And, um, you know, I, for me, I was actually, I did nannying, babysitting when I was in college as well. And it's a great job for someone that's in school. They want to make some money, you know? Yep. So, so how did those, where, where are you getting those, those nannies, those sitters from? It's, it's, uh, it's actually the, the, I think in, in Miami, I'm finding that's the, 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 the biggest uh, issue is to find quality and reliable. Employees. Yeah. And that's such a so, Miami thing. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 I feel the moms that, that have to do it on their own because yeah. I do that every, every single day. So you uh, see like the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, so for example, I have, I have, uh, ads on, on, on job, uh, platforms like i don't know indeed i, I don't do craigslist sure. yeah uh, yeah but usually it's uh, on indeed and i i work specifically with with the with the universities when they have wow, part-time job career fairs for Perfect. example and we have a table there and there's a lot of word of mouth as well um but it, this is just an example um i usually have probably 10 to 15 uh, phone screens a week. Okay. So you're always um, hiring. You're always, you're always looking for yes, like yes, good yes. quality yes. positions to fill. Okay. Yes. Because as we are growing, um, we need to have that inventory available. Our promise is that you always, you are always set for a sitter, no matter yeah. where you need it or at what time. Right. That means that I need to make sure I have that inventory ready for our clients. Exactly. So I, I have my, my strategy is having an ongoing hiring uh, service. Makes sense. Um, but out of the, those 15 per week, I, I, I end up meeting probably five because mm-hmm. the other 10 never show up to the oh, interview. It's such, again, it's such a Miami thing. I mean, and then, you know, these moms that listen in there from all over, but you know, I, I grew up in, in Pennsylvania yeah. and I didn't understand it until I moved down here. And it is such a, people don't show up when you say nine o'clock, they show up at 10 30. Like it's, right. It's a Miami thing. <laughs> so it, it, it's, I don't know if it's a Miami thing, but it's just, I think it's a, a irresponsibility. <laughs> so the first screen actually is people that take the time to show up sure. to, the, to the interview. Uh, and then I, I go to, to the interview. I end up hiring one per week. So that's okay. kind of the, the, the radio. It's that I, 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 I have right. 15 calls. I meet five people. I hire one. 
Yeah. So you're filtering and, through for the moms, you know, it's like you're right. taking that step out for them because us as moms, like we could go. And I remember when, um, when I was little, my parents, we always had in the summertime, we would have a nanny and they would invite them over to the house and do this greeting. So it's like, you're mm-hmm. taking that step out for the yep. parents. And especially in a day, you know, when we're so busy and that time could be spent with your kids, you know, it's such a great, it's, it's, it's peace of mind. I think for the mom to know, like when I go to you, when I hire your company and I, and I need a sitter, or a nanny or a tutor, like you guys, they're already going to be screened and, and it's good quality people. Yes. that and, and I, I would never, I have a son, he's nine. Um, and I apply that simple rule. Mm-hmm. Will I, will I leave my son with this person or not? Yeah. And, and, yeah. and it's, it's, it's always a good <laughs> rule of thumb. Sure. Sure. Um, and that's good. So, I'm sure that's good for the clients to think of too, knowing that the person in charge is thinking with that. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the concept of our service because most of the moms, they, you, you're used to have one sitter mm-hmm. that, you, that you like, that you know, and that you trust. Mm-hmm. But if that sitter is not available, then you cancel the plans. That's kind right. of how it works. And with our service, uh, the moms that really understand the way we work are those that they trust our company. Sure. Not not the person because I can have, they can love Ashley, for example, which is a college student that study medicine. Mm -hmm. But then I have also Lindsay that it's also a college student. It has the same profile. So they are both the same. So, but for example, this week was crazy for our Basel. I have families that book sitters every day in the afternoon. So I had to play with my employees availability. Sure. So they, they already know that if Ashley is not available, they Mm -hmm. can have Lindsay or Patricia. Exactly. Um, That's kind of when you, when you understand that concept, everything is just perfect because then then you can have uh, nannies in the morning. Nannies. I have families and and I think you mentioned this at, at the beginning, but I have, uh, moms that um, are asking me to meet them at the mall, for example. So they have a little baby and they have to want, they want to go shopping, but oh, shopping, yeah. shopping with a baby, it's a bit complicated. I'm yes. sure you, you know that. <laughs> so our sitter just meets them at the mall and so great. walks with them. And then after three hours, each one departs and that's it. That's it. Wow. So that's amazing. Uh, that's such a game changer, you know, because again, especially now it's perfect timing to talk about this during right. the holiday season. You're trying to get, you know, you only have, a, I'm sure a certain amount of block of time to get things done and you get it done so much easier and faster when someone else is there to help you and maybe watch your child while you can get everything done. Exactly. Uh, we have a lot of uh, clients that are entrepreneurs mm-hmm. and they usually take their babies to their meetings. Yeah. So, so we meet them at the meeting. Wow. So they, they can have the meeting uh, with, yeah, with, their, with their business yeah. partners, but we are taking care of the kid in, in, in situ. So wow. we provide a service anytime and anywhere. That's, That's amazing. Now, is, it, is this more for like a part-time position that you would say like someone that wants it once or twice a week, or is this also more for the mom that wants it full time? We have everything because we, okay. we charge, we, our, our, our model is charging by the hour. Okay. So we have families that have full-time nannies. Uh, we have a special cases because we have emergencies. So for example, there was one mom that had an accident and couldn't work, but mm-hmm. also couldn't have, uh, she has to recover for surgery, for example. Sure, sure. So she needed someone more than eight hours a day. Yeah. It's more like than a full-time. Clock. And, and it was just for a limited time. So you, she couldn't hire someone for, so we, that's when we, we, we step in, we have two yeah. sitters with two shifts for a month and, and she's fine and everything is covered. Right, so right. We have that cases, we have cases where, where we have full-time nannies. In that case, we do have a search and a specific search for that family need. Family. Okay. And the most common service is the after school nanny. Right, so right. families that we pick up the kids from school around three, three o'clock, we take them home, we do their homework, cook a snack, take them to the extracurricular activity, take them back home, the mom gets from work and everything is done and perfect. That's yeah. kind of the most common uh, service that we are having 
uh, in the afternoons. And then the on call that obviously, as you know, is not only for date nights, it's for whenever mm -hmm. and, and whatever you need. Yeah, no, I think that's great. And I think it's also something that it's so needed because no matter where you are, you know, if there's times when things pop up, there's times when you just want to go out and have a date night with your husband or your partner and, you know, whatever the case, like, there may not be like in our situation, we have my in-laws that live very close to us, but I always have said, I don't want them to feel like they're the nanny. They're the babysitter. Right. I want them to enjoy their grandson, you know? So, um, it's great if they're close by, but also there's families that don't have that too. You know, they may not have family around. Exactly. So to have someone pick them up from school, the date nights, I mean, whatever it is, it's so, so helpful. Um, so I also wanted uh, you to get into what other services that you offer other than the nanny services. So we have the main the main service is the on call, uh, and the and the nanny. The main difference is just the time and frequency. Uh, okay. And if you have a nanny, it's the same person working for you on a fixed schedule, versus babysitting is the on call, like whatever you need. And then we we do offer tutoring. Uh, mm -hmm. That's for it's like a complement. Um, we call it blended care. So. If you need a specific help, for example, in geometry, uh, yeah. we, we have... Uh, okay, sign me up for that for like five years. <laughs> <when my son laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, and Not we have... And, and, and I mean, we have college students and they obviously can, can help with those uh, middle school issues with math and geometry mm -hmm. or language and, and so on and so forth. So we do send the, the, the tutor to their house. Wow, that's so, so great. So, so, so it's, it's a, kind of it's like, a, a it's like the nanny and, and the, the tutoring. Tutor. Yeah. Wow. So wow. that's those are kind of the and we we call our our service uh, cradle to college. Perfect. Because we, cradle because we have the nannies when the kid is a uh, baby, mm -hmm. and then as the as the child grows, we have our sitter services. And then when, when he's ready to go to college, we have our tutoring service, which is also specific for college prep. So wow. we, we make sure they are uh, prepared for the SATs, for example. Yeah. So, so, so that's a wide variety. Uh, so that's why we are a, a, one, a one shop solution for childcare needs yeah. for, for yeah. our families. And, and this is something that, as I said, is new. We are a little bit over a year in Miami. We started working with our corporate uh, clients or with the corporate side of the business. Mm -hmm. But uh, five to six months ago, we started with the expansion on the private service. And so far, it's, it has been... Uh, pretty much pretty good yeah um, no I can see how it's, it would be something <laughs> that, that's needed you know I mean yeah. we, um, my family went through a whole you know hiring service for, for ourselves um, because we needed that as well but the thing is is like exactly what you're saying you see all the stuff that you know like as a mom if you're trying to hire someone it's like oh my gosh, what are these, you know, whether it's the way they show up, that they don't, you know, they're addressed or what their qualifications are. Like you said, you get one good apple in there amongst all the others. Yeah. But at least, you know, when, when your clients are coming to you, they're going to get all the good ones. <laughs> the, 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 the other issue is that, for example, when you, and, and this is just a, 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 a safe comparison, but when you do uh, the... The process on your own or you hire an agency a placement mm -hmm. agency because we are not a placement agency um you get first of all you have to manage the relationship with the nanny mm -hmm. you have to pay taxes if you if you pay taxes right and and you have that person like this is your sitter so if in right. two, in, if in two months it's not a good match yeah usually you you just have to deal with it. Start all over like again, yeah. You, you start, or, or you start all over again, or you start to compromising. Like, this is what I have, and yeah. this is it. Um, and with our service, it's a service. It's, you're not hiring a person. You're hiring a company and, and a service. So we have uh, examples when, when we place a nanny, and both sides. The nanny is not feel comfortable with the family, so we change the nanny because she's yeah. not comfortable. Or the family saying, no, this is not really a good fit. Okay, right. we'll find another one for you. Um, and that's kind of how it works. And, and, and then the families, they, they realize like, yeah, uh, Anita was a great sitter, but no, I really need someone with this profile. So we, we kind of work with them to find that perfect match. Perfect. And, 
and and if if something happens and and she quits or she cannot work anymore you are always covered you exactly. will never be left yeah. alone like we throw in our sitter services we put temporary nannies with you so it's you we remove the hassle of childcare from you yeah that's, that's kind of the concept yeah that's so important especially for you know a busy working mom mm-hmm. that's that you know, maybe she's depending on that sitter and then someone cancels or whatever the situation is, you know that you're covered. So it's peace of mind. Exactly. So nice. And then I also want to talk a little bit about like how affordable is this service? Is this something that someone would do, you know, a couple of times a week? Is it like how, how, um, like what do your clients typically use this for? Like, is it weekly? Is it more long term? Like, what does that look like and how affordable is it? Again, it, it, it's up to the, the different needs on the family. Um, our service starts with uh, uh, an hourly rate of $20 for the on-call. Okay. Which is a, an, a standard, as, as I see in Miami. And, and we charge the same for up to three kids in the same family. Okay. So, so it's, it's not, not that, more for like... No. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you have three kids, I'm not going to charge you more because you have three kids. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the same nanny. And, and we have these... Um, uh, ratio so that's why one nanny for three kids is the mm-hmm. is the is the radio so uh that's that's how it works you don't have to pay anything for the service uh, right now for example we have a, a free enrollment period so oh, it perfect. doesn't it doesn't cost uh it usually costs 200 dollars to enroll but right mm-hmm. now we are waiving that um so you only pay for the hours that you use wow. so it's, it's up to you uh as I said, at the beginning, you start hiring a sitter for, for a date night, then you get more familiar with the service, and then suddenly, okay, I need my spa time in the right. afternoon. <laughs> or, I mean, or just go uh, get your nails whatever, done. Or, exactly. Yeah. Whatever you need. I need three hours in the afternoon for sure. me, and you book the sitter, and you're done. Yeah. So, so frequency and, and usage depends on, on, again, each mom and how familiar they are with the service. But we yeah. are seeing that uh, with, with, with time, this uh, gets more. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I talked to, uh, I've interviewed a lot of moms on here who are entrepreneurs, they're running their own businesses. And the, the common thread that, that each one of them have said is that, you know, the biggest thing in get for, the, for them to get things done in their business is getting help from someone else, not mm-hmm. feeling like they have to be the only one who's, who's doing something in their house, whether that's exactly. like having someone come and walk their dog or do their groceries or pick up their kids from school or whatever it is, that's how they create more time and they do more. So exactly. not only are you providing the value of, you know, having, having the sitter services, but you're allowing the mom, the parents, the family, you know, maybe mom gets work done while someone goes and picks up the kids. So when they come home, like she can spend quality time with them and get her work done. Exactly. That's why we, that's why we help moms. (laughs) Yeah, no, it's amazing. And I I think that, you know, it's, it's peace of mind, it's freedom. You're creating, you know, something for, for the mom and the family, you know, to be able to have very, um, very, very like time that they can, can be intentional with you mm-hmm. know? So, um, so I think it's great what you're doing. And, um, I just wanted to ask you if there's anything else that you want to add to, you know, with your services and what you guys do. Yeah. I mean, the, 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 the main difference is that uh, again, you are not dealing with an app. You are dealing with a team. If you have an issue, you pick up the phone and, yeah. and I will call you and I will answer and I will help you. <laughs> so, nice. so, uh, you have a team behind, um, we also, for example, do a special care, which is uh, any type of event. And this mm. is something that it's also, uh, it, it's a good solution for, for, for families or for corporations. Sure. Uh, we had one emergency, for example, there was a bank in, in, in Miami for, the, for the, this date that is bring your child to work day. Right, right. And the, there were three human resources uh, <laughs> employees and suddenly they have 70 kids sign up and, and they were expecting 70 kids wow. in, in two days and wow. they didn't know what to do. Yeah. Uh, so that's when our service kicks in. Like I have the, the, the capacity of placing 15 sitters mm-hmm. in one afternoon at the same wow. time. 
so I can provide that kind of, of, of service. Or if you want to do a, a big play date or whatever you, you, you need, sure. um, typical you want to have uh, another example. You have uh, the moms, uh, they want to do brunch or, yeah. or they want to drink wine in the afternoon. Yeah, and yeah. They, they, they usually go to this place and they don't, enjoy the company mm -hmm. because they have to always take care for the kid so yeah. we can send just two or three sitters oh uh, that is such the, a great idea the, to the same place and and that's it that's so amazing or that's even like a wedding you know if, if, you're yeah. at a, if you have a wedding if you're hosting a wedding and you know like you're inviting kids you know there's some weddings where you don't where you, you know you just don't invite kids right. but if you want to have that as an option then you know that you know, mom and dad can enjoy the night and, yeah. you know, have, have a sitter there. So that's amazing. So that's we so do, great. we do a specialty care. So we do weddings, we do corporate events or family meetings or whatever you need. Sure. Whatever, when, whenever you need childcare, we can help. Wow. So that's amazing. That's, that's so great. And I think what you guys are doing is so great. Cause again, I think it just really helps moms and I'm all about making life easier for moms and just, you know, it's, it's not easy, you know, it's not easy trying to juggle family life and the kids and work and like all the other millions of things that we have on our plate. So anything that, um, you know, I can bring to, to our moms and help them in any way, I think it's, um, you know, it's just another asset to have. Um, so where can all of the moms find you and your company? Um, we have our, our website is collegesitters.com or collegenannies.com. It's, it's really easy. Uh, our Instagram is at college, uh, sitters, Miami. Um, but you're in 30 cities. So it's not just Miami. Right. Um, okay. so if you try, if you ever, if you have a, if you're a client in Miami and you travel to New York or to California, you can use the service there. Okay. That's awesome. The other so thing. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, so cool. Because we also send uh, our sitters to hotels. So it's not an issue. Wow. Um, so you guys are everywhere. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love yeah. it. We are, we are the largest uh, employer of nannies in the U.S. Wow. Wow. So yeah. you know it's safe. You know it's reliable. You can yeah. use it anytime, anywhere, whenever you want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Awesome. We are, we are all what you were waiting for. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. Well, Diego, thank you so much for the interview today. And for all of the moms, again, if you want to connect with Diego or college sitters, you can check them out on Instagram, um, as well as online. If you need a sitter for the weekend, we're coming up. I mean, it's Friday. If you're listening to this, uh, you know, when it launches, it'll be on a Monday. So you guys can plan ahead, but, um, yeah, check out college sitters and Diego, thank you so much for the interview today. Thank you, Sandy. It was great for me to talk to you. Thanks mamas. We'll see you next time.